somebody deep in the circuit once said to me With a wise wink of their eye That if it doesn't need fixing Break it But imagine being lectured by bands like ours that do nothing Songwriters who can't sing Programmers who won't dance A certain guile Time stretched in derivative style Makes love to all But I'll end up loving none And then it all gets written up about after In perfect bound magazines that can't write By freelancers who can't afford to drink like they did Hey, what are your tips? What are your tips? Should I go into coalition with the sun? Plagiarise bodies in the backs of uber pools Abandon the campus novel, turn in at nine Fly through windows into schools of anatomy I wish to unwrite every stolen verb And see if still exists a full poem I'd unsettle for every unpaid word to the 
When you're in Paris, said Hugh with an air of the betrayed Miss Jean Brody, walk with your head up, up, up to deter from the cold, lowly stairs. Hugh Stevens and I were sitting across from each other at the Hard Rock Cafe in Paris, nursing espressos with cremas of an untouched crumb gold when he placed his fist sharply down on the table. He looked me dead in the eyes, and I saw in his face an apprehension for what he was about to tell me, a sort of wall-eyed remorse, usually reserved for shy princes abandoning their thrones. We had arrived into Paris six hours earlier, having decided on an impromptu Eurostar while dining on BBC Money in a costly little hovel called Jamie's. Hugh had been desperate to catch the last Euro show of a darling new alternative outfit he was championing, but no amount of Prosecco was going to sway him from his plan. Pacing ahead to St Pancras International, fired on by Hugh, whose desperation for me to accompany him as I deliberated boarding the train reached embarrassing proportions and I was ushered quickly onto the first class carriage. Radio one. <laughs> so here we were, six hours later, Hugh and I, reeling anxiously in the Hard Rock Cafe just off La Seine. Hugh's fist still sat silently on the table. His eyes had not swayed. The river slowed. I have a problem, he said to me, that nobody can ever discover. I could see that he didn't want me to reply, that his admission would come of its own accord. He winced and then shrugged, lounged back and then stretched, paused for a final breath and spoke. type of music. I feel absolutely nothing. It is all so boring. I wake up and I think to myself, I have to listen to all of this all over again. New jazz electronica with strings and the post and the punk and the vigor and the... Oh, it just means absolutely nothing to me. There's not a genre I can stand, not a singer I can bear. I play a debut track on air, I don't like it. Listen to seminal records in my headphones, I can't stand it. I even book for festivals all over the world. I hate it. Hugh broke for a momentary pause, his eyes scanning the Parisian debris. And he quoted with a solemn irony. The hollow man. Our dried voices, when we whisper together, are quiet and meaningless as wind in dry grass, 
Or rats' feet over broken glass in our dry cellar. I laughed a hacking laugh that merged into a cough and crashed down to the ground with a mouthful of spit.
his neck for news Tearing out sun befallen Pages of decline and fall Unconcerned with eminence The street looked set to burst Taken apart the man mumbled And watched the narrator recount it Bit by bit I shook my lead It was the golden hour for streets like this All over the city Peak, evervescent light time Open sign, showcase An illuminated fight time Before midnight Some stayed fastened to their seats Sheltering from the streets Impending self-detonation Doom swayers But the man on the street Knew where the real fun was happening Out on the strip With the half in, half out As in door staff and bleary idiots Out on the street's doorstep Theory became practice The pavement of football pitch A gastroturf playing field For the plastic and glass container carriers But the problem with streets like this Is there's too many bad poems in the way You're so caught up with soliloquizing The moment at hand That you struggle to appreciate The sad drawl of it all It's a familiar tale And one bound to be repeated In more bad poems for years to come men and women in the full-bodied pursuit of academic and promiscuous success, of popularity and the promise of great rewards ahead for their ingenuity. Seen somehow set apart from their peers. Coming out! 